If you have a newborn, you know they're supposed to get their vaccines and on time. But due to the coronavirus crisis, parents haven't been able to get appointments in some cases. Practices have been closed. And in some cases, they're afraid to actually take their baby out to the doctor. And joining me is Dr. John Christensen, a pediatric infectious disease physician at Riley Children's, Hospi uh, Ch Children's Health. Doctors, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We sure do appreciate all you've been doing to keep Indiana safe. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Let's talk about this um, this issue right now. We're starting to see practices open back up to get parents and their babies in, but how big of a decrease do you think that Indiana is seeing right now with maybe these children not getting vaccinations right now? At least nas nationwide, it seems like booster doses of many of the vaccines were reduced by over 50% uh, for vaccines such as measles, mumps, rubella, diphtheria, as well as uh, HPV. So that's a big, big drop, 50%. Big drop. Let's mm -hmm. talk about this. Now that these practices are open, parents should feel, I'm guessing, safer to come in. What is your word to them about now trying to get back in with their doctors? Well, I, I, think, I think many practices have done a pretty good job in keeping young infants vaccinated, but the reality is that parents need to understand that these diseases are not gone. Perhaps we're not seeing as many cases reported just because of the social distancing that has taken place within the United States. But these diseases are, are still here, measles in particular. That is the greatest concern we have right now, that we're going to see an upsurge of measles mm. as people start getting back together. So it's very important that parents get their children vaccinated. Yeah, let's talk about that. If they are having you know, trouble getting in, do you say, well, maybe you shouldn't be around, you know, still keep them even more at home than you would be before you can actually get back in to get that appointment? Yeah, I think I think pediatricians and family docs and others are going to do their best to get people in. But uh, it's better to stay close to home. Uh, the good news is that travel has been limited. So yeah. I think the type of exposures that put uh, people at risk are diminished greatly. Uh, and, and this comes to our advantage. Uh, so it gives us enough time to get people vaccinated. Yeah, I'm interested in, to hear what you think here. Um, you know, in some cases, vaccinations have been controversial. And I'm wondering if you think long term, though, will more people see the importance of getting a vaccine? And do you actually think because of COVID, more people will end up being vaccinated long term? Well, I hope so. Uh, we've been trying for years now to get people to vaccinate their children against influenza, for example. And we only succeed in about 50 percent of the time. Um, we, we talk a lot about COVID and there's no question that uh, having a death due to COVID is a very sad thing, but people forget that, that a uh, last year, 170 children died of influenza in the United States, when right now with COVID, maybe probably a, a, a small number uh, have died. So we need, we need to remember that uh, people die of influenza, which is a vaccine preventable disease. Uh, the greatest concern that we have is that uh, we're going to be depending that uh, people get vaccinated against COVID down the road. Uh, we need we need to be sure that everybody gets vaccinated. Dr. Christensen, thank you so much. I, for one, I will be uh, probably making sure that myself and my children really get that flu shot uh, this season. And maybe in the past, maybe we had skipped it. So we appreciate thank you that so much. very much. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Ray.